What's up everyone, it's Tony here with Nerds Never Sleep. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different starting this week. Um, so basically every weekend what I want to do is at the end of the week, I want to make a kind of like a compilation video of everything that we have highlighted uh, during the week. Uh, it's going to be a little longer format. I'll show you guys everything that we have highlighted and kind of just give two cents on, you know, the piece that I kind of think is the best that we have shown for that week. Um, kind of get a little bit of feedback from everybody else and see what piece was their favorite, what they liked seeing the most and, you know, kind of stuff you wanted to see the following week. Um, as you know, right now we are doing, you know, My Hero Monday, uh, Miku Mondays, uh, Twin Tuesdays. Uh, this past week we just started uh, Life of Wednesday. So um, we're going to kind of start doing more and more pieces uh, throughout the week just in the shorts and reels format just to kind of highlight pieces. Um, and again, this is going to kind of be a little bit of a longer format thing where we show everything that we highlighted for the week. Um, and, you know, hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully, again, you guys like with the shorts and the reels see um, the things closer and, you know, you get a better feel for what they're going to look like outside of the boxes. Now, this week, I have a lot of the boxes right here and present to put on display to show you guys. A lot of the times, it's going to be stuff I grab out of the, the shelves here, so I won't have the boxes ready for display. Those are all in a storage unit. But this week, I got lucky. Majority of the figures that we highlighted are here with their boxes. Um, I have one that isn't, which is the Darkness from Wednesday. So, um, yeah. So, this week, we had five pieces that we highlighted. Uh, first thing we did was the Taito uh, third season spring Miku, which was a fairy. Um, she was amazing. Um, and then for My Hero Monday, we went with the uh, evil villains uh, Shigaraki. And then for Twin Tuesday, we actually did a duo because I have so many Rem figures that I'm trying to do any kind of multiple and color variants at the same time. So these are the Precious Knit Sweaters and the, uh, the Renewal precious knit sweater version of Rem. There's one other one too. She's pink. I don't think we have that one, but if we do, she'll come up eventually. And then the third piece that we did, or the third day that we did was actually uh, for what we were starting with for Waifu Wednesday, which I'm going to take any random girl figure that we don't normally have a day for and highlight one of them. And that was Darkness from Konosuba. So I'm going to kind of pause. I'm going to show you guys all of them on the turntable here let you see a closer look and, um, you know, kind of give my thoughts on what I thought the coolest one of the week was. And, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of new thing I'm trying out here. And, uh, again, we'll be doing it every weekend, uh, Saturdays, most likely. I know today's Sunday, but, you know, we'll get on track. So, uh, we'll start off Miku, we'll do Shigaraki, we'll do the Rems, and then we'll follow up last with Darkness. So we'll kind of go in order of the days that we did them in. Okay, so our first one here is the uh, Taito third season spring version, which is the really adorable fairy Miku. Um, really liked this one. She comes with the the translucent hair pieces, which again, I am a total sucker for those. Uh, the wings look really pretty. The pose is super, super cute on her. Um, you know, the outfit, everything's really well done. Uh, as is with a lot of these uh, Taito prize figures, they're really, really well made. Um, kind of give you guys a quick look at her, and then I'll zoom in, let you guys take a closer look at her. All right, so here's a little bit of a closer look at her right here. As you guys can kind of get a better view of her. Again, face is really well done. The little details on her outfit, super, super cute. Uh, the pose is really, really nice and playful. And then again, we're going to go back here and show you the wings really quick. Kind of the nice uh, pearlescent wings. They look really cute. They even made her hair a little pearlescent too, which I like the shiny uh, tone of the paint. Looks really good. Okay, so that's it for Miku. We'll go on to our next piece. Okay, so here is the uh, really cool and super impressive, actually, um, Ban Presto, My Evil Villains, or The Evil Villains, My Hero Academia piece. Um, 
I really like this one and it really caught me by surprise. Uh, we zoom in a little bit, I'll show you. Actually, no, I can show you right now. Um, his little hand comes right off. It hooks onto his nose. It's a really cool feature. Um, very simple and I like the way they did that. Very clever way of putting the hand on his face. Uh, no pegs were needed. Uh, details are really cool on this one. I like the way everything looks. I mean, he he, he looks on par with the the higher end uh, Bandai, the Kuji figures. So I love the action pose of him. And it's the same with this, the rest of this line. So far, they've only let, um, released Toga, but she has a really cool action pose too. So I do love that. I appreciate the fact that they did the dynamic poses on these. Uh, the attention to details with all of his buttons, the zippers, uh, his his shoes even came out really cool. Um, you know, everything is is really well done on this one. So super impressed by it. Even like the wrinkles in his shirt and everything else. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm bringing you in really close and let you guys see kind of the detail they put into his face when the hand is off, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so again, this thing comes off really easily. Boop. It just sticks right onto his nose, actually. And if you see, let's see if I can get it focused. He has a little, the hand has a little indent right here. Can't focus on this, but his face is creeping everyone out. But yeah, the, the hand has a little indent in it, and it just pops right on his face. Really cool. Um, I like that idea. And again, you can see the face. They even did a really good job on his face if you want to uh, show him without the hand on his face. Um, I'm going to put this one with the hand in the display because the Kuji figure that I have does not have it on his face. But again, they did a really good job with it. I'm going to pop his hand right back on. Sticks right on really easily. Again, really cool. You can still see his creepy eye. Um, definitely dig this one a lot. Really cool. Really good quality. And so that is it for the Banpresto Shigaraki from the Evil Villains line. And next we are going to go on to the duo of Rems. Okay, so here is uh, our Twin Tuesday um, highlight, which was the duo of the Taito <clears throat> um, knit sweater precious figures, which, you know, these were again, super, super cute. Uh, most REM pieces are adorable anyways. Uh, they did a great job with the pose, the innocent kind of pose to her, the look on her face. Um, you know, I like how even the the standard version had like a leggings look to her, whereas the renewal version uh, went without the, the leggings. And I know it's just a simple paint thing, but it does make the figure look more than just a paint swap. And if you do notice here, this rem, the standard one, did come with more of a lean to her. There's nothing wrong with the pegs or anything. That's just the way her sculpt was, and I've seen that with a lot of them. Uh, I wonder if it's something they kind of fixed as far as a quality control issue with the re-release. But uh, she looks completely stable. You know, nothing really a big deal. Um, again, she still looks super cute. I appreciate the fact that they did give them separate bases the tone of the bases is even different it's the same base but this one has kind of like a frosted tone to it this one's clear it almost looks like it's on a doily um you know they're very cute both of them and uh you know i'm gonna bring in close let you take a look at them both so yeah i mean as you can see here they both look super cute sorry my camera okay we'll do that again So as you can see, I mean, they both did come out really cute. The little knit sweaters, this kind of sweater dresses they have on came out cute. Their little hats, super adorable. Um, you know, it's Rem, so I mean, she's always going to be super cute anyways. But they did a great job with this one. Uh, Taito always kills it with their prize figures. Uh, I'm going to go upward and give you kind of a better angle at them again real quick. And again, here's another angle of them, just so you can kind of see how they look up top, how their hats look. Again, the hair, the hats, the outfit, the boots, everything looks really, really cute on these ones. So, as with most Taito figures, dig them a lot. They're really well made. They're not as kind of off keel as the Van Presto figures usually are, but... That's it for Tuesday's highlight, and now we'll finish it up with our highlight of our new segment of Waifu Wednesday. 
Okay, so for our final piece of the week, we did the uh, Sega brand Darkness from Konosuba 2. And this one, I, I really like this one. This one was hard for me to track down uh, back when she came out. Um, but she was definitely worth tracking down. I did get her for retail price, so I didn't have to pay any scalper prices. Um, I love the way this one just kind of has the cool little pose where you can just tell it's just darkness by the way she's posed. You know, she's just kind of like got that, oh my, you know, like, look at me, don't look at me look on her face. And, you know, her pose just says the same thing. But anyone who knows this character knows this is this is definitely a fitting kind of pose for the character. Uh, they did a great job with the clothing, the armor, the hair, um, the face. I mean, they even made like the clothing kind of drape a lot on over her her body and everything. Um, just like cool little added details to this one. Again, it's a Sega Prize figure, so they're usually really really nice quality as well as like I said with the Taito figures. So like her a lot. They added a pearlescent tone to her armor pieces. Really cool little feature. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring you guys in closer. Let you get another look at her and uh, see what one I thought was the best. Okay, so here's a closer look of her. I mean, she even has that like, oh my goodness, kind of look on her face. Like, don't look at me, but yes, look at me. You know, again, um, really well made. Again, I like how the armor is you know, got that kind of metallic tone to it. You know, even though it's white, it still has the, the shine to it. Uh, like I said, they did a good job with her hair too as well. It could have been a little bit better, but you know, you see the separation right here and the kind of, there's a kind of a slight color variation to it, but really my only gripe with it, I mean, she's a really pretty piece. Um, no paint scuffs or anything like that on it. You know, I like it a lot. She came out really good. Uh, there's a closer look at her face. And now I'll kind of do a, an angled shot and we'll zoom out and talk about the, all the pieces. Do a quick angled shot right here. Kind of let you guys see the base, it just says Konosuba 2. Very simple white base. Again, she looks really good, really, 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 really good. Oh yeah, so that's it for the highlights of the week. Um, again, this is going to be a new segment. We're going to kind of tweak it a little bit as we go. But give you guys all a look at our Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays highlights. Uh, kind of compiled everything together. And it's a tough choice for me. I honestly thought every one of these pieces was really, really good. And while Rem is my girl... I got to say, these are probably my least favorite out of the bunch. Um, and it's definitely, it's definitely close, but, uh, I do love this darkness piece. She is really, really awesome, but I'm going to have to give my pick of the week to the Taito spring Miku because it, it's just amazing. Um, all the little details they added to her the outfit, the base, the the pose, I mean, everything just looks so, so good on this one. And being a prize figure, the quality is just awesome. So yeah, I mean, it, it, this is a tough, this is a tough week for doing the first time. Um, cause honestly there were, there were some good ones. I really love the Shigaraki a lot. He came out amazingly well. Uh, again, the darkness did too. And I, I, these are, both really, really great REMs, but they're not my favorite REMs. We've done a lot on this channel so far that I really, really love that are like some of my top tier pieces. So just, she got kind of the, the crap end of the stick this week, but I'm sure we'll be showing some more better, uh, some more better ones. Yeah, there's English for you. Um, <laughs> I'm sure we'll be showing some better ones off uh, in the upcoming weeks and uh, she'll be one of a couple of these in my opinion, but uh, yeah, so that's it for this new segment, this kind of compilation segment that I'm going to do every week. And uh, I hope you guys like this. If you guys aren't into it, if there's something you think I should tweak and change, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know what you all think. Um, and actually, leave a comment down in the comments for which one of these you actually thought was the coolest. Um, you know, I like to get everyone else's opinion on the matter because someone might like Darkness, someone might like the Rem. You know, but I think most of you are going to agree with me that Miku 
takes the piece for the week, uh, definitely. <clears throat> but other than that, uh, again, if you guys want to see the uh, kind of more detailed reels and shorts, you can check the YouTube uh, shorts and the Instagram reels uh, on our pages. And uh, for the photo galleries and stuff like that, which I have not posted yet this week for any of these, um, they'll be up on Facebook and Instagram. But again, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this new kind of thing we're experimenting with here. And uh, again, if you guys can like, follow, share on our socials, we are on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. Uh, do the stuff, I'm trying to do it every single day, a little bit here and there. But um, again, got a lot of catch up to do. My birthday is tomorrow, so Monday and Tuesday's videos might be a little bit behind, but they will come out this week, so do not worry about it if you are someone who is watching every week. But that's all I've got for today, so again, hope you guys enjoyed this new kind of video, and uh, we will be seeing you guys, well, later on in the week. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you later. Bye.